What is up YouTube, Coach Tim here, back at it with another video. And today, we're going to be doing an IRL player today by the name of Ben Simmons. Last two videos, we did two virtual players. So we're going to move, move on back to the way that we we're going to be doing things. And today, we're going to be starting off with Sixers players. And the first person we're going to be doing is Chris, uh, Chris Simmons, Jesus. Oh my, Ben Simmons. Joel B we can do Joel Embiid, but it's not going to be accurate because this, if I don't know, look at this guy's attributes, bro. This guy's attributes are ridiculous. And if you look at his badges, I mean, there's too many badges. You can't get this many badges. You can't get this many, this many playmaking badges in this type of build. So, too overpowered. I can't do it. It's impossible. I already tried it. Took me forever. Not worth the time. For It's not It's not going to be a Joel Embiid build. It's not. It's going to be some other type. It's going to be a handicap Joel Embiid. But, Ben Simmons, we can absolutely do. Because that boy cannot shoot. So, easier said than done. So, as we're here, Ben Simmons, 6'10", 230. He is listed as a point guard, but you cannot make a 6'10 point guard. So, I made him a small forward. And he's going to be 6'9". Because if you make him power forward, he won't be able to dribble as well. So, I made him a small forward. So, I'm going to go through the attributes. You know, he is in the range of 89 to 80 overall. So, he is definitely capable of doing this. Uh, capable of being made into the game. This version of Ben Simmons, not the not the IRL version. IRL version could be different, but the way that the game made him, those are his attributes. These are his badges. This is where we're gonna go with the Ben Simmons build. It's not the best, uh, the best Ben Simmons build. He has a shooting badge. Difficult shots. Wait, what? Hell no. Difficult shots. Huh? Oh hell no. Okay, I did not know, bro. That had to have been updated because I did not see no damn difficult shots on Braun. Oh, hell no. Alright. Playmaking badges, here we go. He has a really good playmaking badges, especially for this guy, for how big he is. Man, that's, that's really good, especially for playing play now with this guy. Oh, Lord, Jesus. And his defensive badges. So, we're going to go into the My Player Builder. Stop looking at my, stop looking at my builds. Don't look at my builds. Those will be in a video soon. Don't look at them yet. If you're interested in how to make them, Comment down below. All right, so Ben Simmons is gonna be a small forward. He is left-handed and he is number one. I think it's a, no, he's number like 25, right? Yeah, 25. I think he's 25. He's some weird-ass number. I think he's 25. He's 25. Yeah, he's 25. Very positive. So the build that we, the pie chart that we went with is the blue and yellow, latching, latching, and playmaking, latching and playmaking. The physical profile that we went with is the last one. I mean, you got if you're Ben Simmons, you have to have some strength, and you also have to have some speed and some vertical. So I went with the the last one because it's overall balance. You still have 80 speed, which is ridiculous for this build, and then you have 78 strength, which means you could big body some guards, even some small forwards. You'll be able to big body because sometimes small forwards uh, they make him with no strength, so you'll be able to bully they ass. So with the, with the attributes that we went with, we're gonna go with 80 on the close shot. Driving lamp 86. This is his attributes, by the way. Driving dunk of 85. His standing dunks is 71. His post hook is a 76. Now you could low key post with this guy. He has a 76. You could low key post with this guy. You put this guy on a point guard. If you run this guy at the one, oh man, that's gonna be a matchup nightmare. He has a 46 mid range. He has a 47 three. Oh my, you could honestly work with that. Not even gonna lie. Free throw 63. That boy can actually free throws. And he has a 73 post fade. Now, I'm not positive. I'm very positive he doesn't have the, the 73 post fade. But I think we had extra attributes, so we had to put it towards something. And the only thing that we could actually put it on was post fade. So we're going to be a little cheesy. We only have one shooting badge, so it's not going to be too overpowered. All right. His pass accuracy is 75. His ball handling is a 78. I'm very positive it's higher, but the max we can go is 78. And his post was a 79. You know, 15 playmaking badges is really good. And your post phase is 79. You could definitely work with that. You could big bully some guards for sure if you're playing him at the one, even at the two. Depends on how you play. Depends on where you put this put this build into. He has a 67 interior. He got a perimeter of 71. Lateral quickness of a 66. Steal of a 70. I'm very positive he is not He averages. He's one of the highest um, steal per averages in the game, and he actually has a low steal. So I gave him those extra attributes in his steal because I, I th thought that was pretty ridiculous that he only had 
um, such he had such a low steal. I have to go back to it to remember, but he has a, he definitely has a, steal, a low steal for the way that he averages, the amount of steals that he averages. So this is the best setup you're gonna you're gonna get. You're gonna get 19 finishing, one shooting, 15 playmaking, five defending. So you could definitely work with this build. It's not a bad build at all. You you can definitely run with this in comp. You could definitely do it. The, the only thing that I don't like is the five defensive batters. I feel like that could be a problem because you're going to be 6'9", so you're going to be a little slow. But I think if you just play with it right and you, get, and you max out to 99, you'll be able to you'll be able to run with this build easily. You know, you'll be able to hit decently in some free throws. I mean, uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't be the first guy to shoot the free throws. But, you know, you're not going to be really shooting with this build. And Ben Shim isn't going to shoot at all. So, this is the most realistic thing we can come up with. We went with built because uh, I felt I felt Ben Simmons is way bigger. He's not slim at all, so he's definitely thick. No homo, but he definitely has some weight on him. He's he's six ten, but we're gonna have to put him at six nine. His ball control does go down, but that's unfortunate. You can still work with this. I mean, we'll figure it out at the end. We'll discuss at the end. His weight is two thirty, and his wingspan is at eighty four, flat. So. With this build, you're going to have a 68 ball control, so you're not going to be able to get the, the pro uh, dribble moves, but you'll, you'll be able to get the normal ones, and those are honestly really good. You'll be able to work with that, especially with Quick First Step, Hall of Fame, and all those other badges. You'll be able to you'll be able to, uh, to to dribble well with this guy. And when you get to 99, we actually, you would actually have to get to a 97 to get the, the 70 ball control in order to get the those pro animations. So, you know, if you grab with this build, it'll definitely be worth it. You have 81 post moves. That's really good. And it'll be at 80, 86 when you max it out. You know, you have, you get contact dunks once you get to 99 overall. You have, you actually also have standing con con contact dunks too. So that's actually really good. I didn't even notice that. So this build's really good. The only bad part that I don't like about it is his defense is a little low. But Ben Simmons also isn't the best lateral defender. He does get a lot of steals, but he's not the best lateral defender. So the takeover that we went with now when Ben Simmons is absolutely wrecking havoc. He's the, I thought about post scoring, but post scoring is kind of irrelevant in 2020. So I went with slashing and slashing is probably the most overpowered takeover in the game. And you got a slasher. And LeBron's in the freaking similar, too. And supposedly people compared Ben Simmons to LeBron, sort of. I heard that somewhere. Um, if you didn't, then I'm, a, I'm an idiot, but that's okay. But the player comparison is not bad. James Worthy, uh, I'm pretty sure James Worthy can shoot, but mm, that's okay. We're going to test the bill here. And I'm pretty sure LeBron can shoot decently. I mean, come on. Le LeBron wasn't that brick when he was in his first year. Really? He wasn't that bad? I was only like four years old, so. I mean, I can really, I just learn how to freaking pee in the bathroom. So, we're going to put this thing at 9 overall. We're going to start backwards like usual. Defense, you got to go with Clamps and Intimidator. I mean, that's, that's what you got to go with. I mean, if you don't go with that, then you're going to struggle defensively. But you could go with Rebound Chaser if you're really trying to be Ben Simmons, but you at least have to have Clamps. But... I think you don't need rebound chaser to rebound. So, and you also don't have the highest rebound as well. You don't have a 69, 99.9 .9 would be like a 73, 74. So, eh, I wouldn't waste the batch points on that. I'd rather be able to have intimidator and make people miss shots because you could be more running this guy at the guard more than the big. Playmaking, gotta go with your dimer. Handles for days, quick first step. Then the last three is up to you. I wouldn't put it on floor general because I I already run floor general Hoff or run on nothing. Because you can have another teammate that runs for General Hall of Fame. But, we could, if you're going to go with Ben Simmons, you can run with Break Starter, Bailout, and Downhill. Or, if you don't want to run any of those, you run Downhill Gold. Because that badge is really overpowered. Right when you get that rebound, you're taking off. Man, you go fast as shit. That's all I got to say. So, I would go with this badge setup. Depends on how you want to play. But... No, it's up to you. Up to you what you want to do. Break starter, if you're a break starter guy, if you like throwing it down the court, off the rebound. But if you're not, if you like to go coast to coast, go with downhill. Boom. Shooting, this is basically useless. But you can you know, go with deep fades because you have a high post fade. And he, he does post fade a little bit. Very positive he does. I don't really watch a lot of Ben Simmons builds. I mean, not builds. A lot of Ben Simmons gameplay because 
I just don't watch the Sixers at all. I mean, that's probably the, I'd rather watch the Hornets than the Sixers, to be honest. I can't stand watching the Sixers uh, shoot a lot of bricks. I mean, they, I just don't like watching the Sixers at all. So, you can only go with defense, a quick draw. It's up to you how you're going to play. I think you should go a quick draw because you can make your shot a little faster. But if you're going to be being, if you're going to be bu bu uh, bully balling down low, you're going to be shooting some fades, go with defense. Up to you. Finishing, contact, finish your Hall of Fame. Now you're going to be 6'9", but if you're going to finish over the trees, I say if you go to Giant Slayer, at least gold. Yeah. So they finish your Hall of Fame. I would go with where Acrobat Hall of Fame. So you have four more. Now, with these two, you can either go with Fancy Footwork Gold and put this Hall of Fame, or you can go either or. You gotta have Fancy Footwork because that badge is overpowered, but it's up to you. Or you can put that one bronze badge on contact because uh, it's a finisher. Up to you guys. I personally would go with right here. Sorry, right here. And Giant Slayer is really an underrated badge. That badge, if you're smaller going, going up against the trees, it gives you a higher boost. So you're 6'9. If you, go, if you sh shoot a contested layup, over a seven foot center am i doing that correct yeah seven foot center you'll get and you have it on hall of fame you'll get the highest boost of making it so it's it's three attributes up and down i'm very positive it's up and down like six six to seven seven foot it depends on what well, this build is six nine so it'll be seven like it, let me see six six to seven foot yes six nine six ten six, yeah so as if you go against a seven foot dude you have the highest boost, and even a 73 dude, you're gonna even have a higher boost. But the minimum is three in order to get the max amount. Because I know this bad doesn't work when you're 72, because there's no one 75 high or higher than that. It doesn't work at 73. It it do, it could work at seven foot, but there's no point in using it. The smaller you are, the the better usage you get of the Giant Slayer badge. And if you watch the 2K Lab video on Giant Slayer, it's a really good badge. So I recommend it for a smaller type of build. And that, my friends, is the Ben Simmons IRL 2K version build, if that sentence even makes any type of sense. Um, but, you know, we're going to roll with it, and that's the language we're going to be using for, this, for these build videos. But thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys soon.